Hello techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to add a row to the data table by using insert row into data table data table action. Let me open create new data table once again and there let me click on edit. Now if you observe I am having five columns that is product name, product code, price, availability and description. And we have added three rows over here for the product name laptop, mobile and headphones. Right? Now let assume I want to update one of the price of the laptop. If you observe over here I am having Dell laptop and the product code 001 I have given and the price is 25. And let assume the availability right now in the current scenario, I have to make it as no. In that case, how can we go ahead and update the particular item in the data table? All right, let me click on cancel. Now, there is one action available under the data table variable actions that is update data table item action, which it will update a item in the particular row of the data table under the particular column we can go ahead and update the particular item by using update data table item data table action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. This update data table item can update the row items on the defined column. If you see the parameters over here, first parameter is the data table. What is the data table right now we are having? Inside our create new data table, we are having product data table. Right, I'm going to select the product data table from the select variable. And then if you observe, I'm having second parameter as column. Over here, we can give the column name or the index of the column we can give it. First, I will show you the column index. Right, so the availability column index is 3. So I want to change it over here in the index 3. Now, if you see another parameter row, this is also we can give in the indexes, but not in the names because of the rows we doesn't have with the names. So that I'm going to give the indexes as zero because of the first row and the value I'm going to make it as no. Previously, if you observe in my create table, I have given the availability for the Dell laptop as yes, but right now I'm going to give the value, new value as no. All right, let me click on save. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. A data table named product data table has created and one row has been added into the data table by using insert row into the data table. And after that, by using update data table item, we have updated the value in the particular item by using rows and columns. And saved into the same product data table as a flow variable. Let's double click on the product data table flow variable to see the output. Now, if you see the output over here for the row one, that is nothing but index zero having Dell laptop and the product code is 001 and 25,000 is the price. Previously, the availability was yes. Right now, we have updated the item value by using update data table item action. We have updated it as no, All right? And after that, if you observe over here, we have given the column index as three. How can we go ahead and do that? The index will start from zero. That is product name as zero, one, two, and three. And finally, we have four. So we are having five columns and the index starts from zero, one, two, three, and so on. In the same way, we are having rows also. If you see row one, index zero, row two, index one, row three, index two, row four, index three. These are all the values which we are going to get it. All right, let me click on close. Now, I want to work with the column names based on the names. How can we go ahead and do that? Let me double click on the update data table item. Now, if you see the parameter over here, once again, the column which we have given based on the indexes right now, right? Now, I want to make it as names based on the names I need to update it. Let us assume we are having the names over there as product name column which is available inside my product data table. I'm going to give the same name over here and inside row one that is index zero I'm having product name as Dell laptop. Right now I will make it as 
HP laptop. Okay, right now I'm not going to give any column index over here. I'm just going to give the column name over here and we don't have any option for the row. I just need to give the row index over here only. All right, let me click on save. Now, before running this desktop flow, let me see the output once again. What we had previously in the product data tables. There you can see under the product name column, we are having Dell laptop, right? Right now we are going to update it as HP laptop, all right, by using update data table item action. Let me click on close. And once again, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It is trying to create the product data table. And if you see right now, it is trying to update the data table item, which is available under the column name as product name, right? And the row is with the index of zero, and it has been updated successfully with HP laptop at the item value. All right, let me see that by double clicking on the product data table, which is the output flow variable over here. Now, if you observe the output over here for the product data table, I'm having product name has updated successfully with the HP laptop right now after using update data table item action. All right, I hope you understand how to work with update data table item as part of this tutorial.